First, let me start by asking a question. How many of you today have used a product that was derived from petroleum? I bet you can guess the easy things, like the gas or the oil in your car, but what about things like your clothes, or your cell phone case, or your plastic water bottle? You see, plastics, or polymers, are all around us, and a lot of people don't realize that they're derived from petroleum. Now, in a society such as ours, that is strives so heavily to be green, and yet depends so much on these plastics and polymers, we'll eventually need to find a suitable replacement. That's where we come in. You see, biomass, like trees or plants, are comprised of a large quantity of a compound called lignin. Now, this lignin uh, is very similar to the petroleum that we're trying to replace. And lucky for us, we have a large supply of this lignin in the papermaking industry. You see, when the wood comes in to be digested, the cellulose is taken away to make paper, and the lignin is left behind. And many people have tried to use this lignin, but have come across a couple issues. You see, what we call lignin is not one specific molecule, like water, but a mixture of molecules, much like petroleum is. And in this mixture, we have big molecules, which have certain properties that can be used to make things like carbon fibers for automobile frames, and smaller molecules that have other properties that can be used to make things like paints or water bottles. This is the first issue that people come across, is that lignin is polydispersed, which means that this, we have this mixture of big molecules and small molecules that can't be used together. The other issue is that it's very dirty. This lignin has a lot of impurities that need to be removed before it can be used in these higher value applications. Because of these two issues, these lignins have not really reached their full potential as a biopolymer, even though production in the United States exceeds over 50 million tons per year. However, we think that we've come up with a solution to solve both of these issues simultaneously. We found that when we take mixtures of acetic acid and water, which is basically vinegar, and we mix it with the lignin, and we heat it up under the right conditions, we'll form two liquid phases. Now, these two liquid phases, much like oil and water, can help us separate the big molecules from the small molecules because we can utilize the different solubilities in the different, in the different uh, acetic acid and water solutions. We can also purify the lignin based because the, all the impurities will selectively go into one of those phases. In this research, we've gone through and we've measured and characterized this unique phase behavior, and we use the results to design a process that we can use to create lignin that can be used to, uh, to replace many petroleum-derived products. So, the next time you see a petroleum-derived product, and I know you can spot them now, you can step back and think to yourself, you know, that could be, used, that could be made from a, a renewable biosource someday, and that source could be lignin. Thank you.